is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that follow the channel, you saw we just dropped our video letting you guys know that Beta 3 for iOS 16 was now live and there has been a substantial number of changes for iOS uh, that weren't really documented yet that are pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and look at some of these changes. For those of you that don't know also, uh, iOS, watchOS, iPadOS, and Mac Ventura updates for all the betas did drop today. Uh, it's on a Wednesday again, that's two weeks in a row. Interesting that it's a little different than their normal Tuesday releases, but no big deal. Make sure you pick those up if you want. One thing that we did not get today was that public beta though. So that makes us think obviously beta 4 will be that first release with the public beta attached being beta 1. So let us know what you guys think. Let's jump right into these changes. Thumbs up this video, comment on the, the video. Let me know what your favorite change is. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. All right, first things first, if you guys use those new widgets on your lock screen, specifically the new calendar widget, you can see your next events or scheduled events are now blurred out until the device unlocks. And at that point is when you will see what that specific event is. So again, when it's locked, you can see it's blurred, unlocked, and it will actually show you what that appointment or schedule is. Nice little touch. I think that's very nice for security purposes. No one else needs to really know your calendar except for you. So moving on beyond that, let me go ahead and set this down. In the Health app now, we have AFib History. If you have AFib, your Apple Watch can help you understand how often your heart was beating irregularly. You can set this up. It'll give you a quick breakdown about what AFib History is, what it does, and all that. Keep in mind you need an Apple Watch for this feature to work as well. Moving on, you also do need to know this will be U.S. only at launch, unfortunately, so no additional countries will be supported just yet. So, kind of nice, good to have if you suffer from that. Let's go ahead and jump into one of the next updates, and that's iCloud Photo Library. So, I should say Shared Photo Library. When you go into your Apple ID, go into iCloud, and then Photos. You can see right here now you have that option for a shared library and in here you can set this up and this is basically designed to make it easier for you to share photos with friends and family members. You can only invite up to five people to share a photo library with you but everyone can add, delete, and uh, edit images right from the library. Obviously this is meant to be a Google Photos competitor so good to see Apple's finally coming out with something to combat that. Next is somewhat interesting. This is a new lockdown mode that Apple has rolled out in the security settings. So if you actually scroll down to privacy and security and go all the way down, we knew safety check was coming, but lockdown mode here is new. And what this says is lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe you may be personally targeted by a highly sophisticated cyber attack. Most people are never targeted by attacks of this nature. And then it describes what happens when it is in lockdown mode. It will not function as it typically does. Apps, websites, and features will be strictly limited for security. And some experiences will be completely unavailable. There's been more specifics in regards to this as well for uh, messaging and all that being hindered in this mode. Another new change as well. Let me go ahead and go back into our new lock screen editor. We now have a couple of new fonts for the time. You can see here there is a skinnier font than there was in Beta 2 and a larger one. Those are the only new changes for this. I did show you already the new calendar changes as well, so you guys can see that. One other change is if we cancel this and go into the new Earth wallpaper. Some of you guys were worried about it, but now you can see the Earth is actually centered now and doesn't get in the way of the widgets. If you actually remove the widgets and have no widgets here, you can see on the back there, the globe does move up a little bit, but the design is not hindered, um, or I should say the globe is not hindered anymore with the lock screen wallpaper. Another little minimal change as well. Let's go right back into the settings here. If you go into the about and look at iOS version number, there's no longer a pop-up card. It gives you the breakdown. So in this case, we're running 20A5312G. Um, it gives you just a different visual interface for what the uh, 
uh, via the iOS version is. It also no longer links to Apple's security website, which is just kind of weird to begin with. There has been a rumored update to that lock screen as well, where there is a new photo of the clownfish that was teased back when the original iPhone was unveiled that never actually shipped. But that is not on my beta. There's believed to be a, uh, a bug for it right now that's hindering that. But let me go ahead and actually show you one thing. Let me log in. What you're going to see if you actually download the beta, look under collections, and at the very end here, you will see what that wallpaper is. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have it, so I can't actually show you guys. I'm hoping since it's a bug, it will actually be officially released in beta 4 or the first public beta. Again, keep in mind these are betas. These little bugs are bound to happen. In the limited amount of time I've been using this, I've had no issues at all. It's actually been pretty smooth um, since beta 2. Battery's been improved. The heat overheating issue has been massively improved. So if you're thinking about grabbing one, I would do it. This beta has been stable since, you know, beta 2. Hopefully this isn't a step back. So I'm very curious to see how well it holds up in the coming days. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do a 48 hour later video to show you guys how it's holding up. But let me know, are you guys going to download this? Are you going to hold off for the public beta? What's your thoughts? Do you like iOS 16 in the first place? There has been uh, one other update to Stage Manager on the iPad. There's basically a new splash screen. In Ventura, you actually have your uh, trackpad visual videos back. There's been other changes for those devices. There's other ones for the new uh, update for the Apple Watch. I'm not going to touch on those in this video, obviously, but if there's something specific you want to see or you do want dedicated videos for those, let me know and we can do that as well. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.